No. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, I want us to talk about tickets about P-I-N-S, Pinterest. I've covered this stock here on the channel. I'm long on, on Pinterest. I'm bullish on Pinterest. I think Pinterest has huge upside uh, for a lot of people that I don't quite know. Pinterest is a, a social media uh, company that actually provides more than just social media. It provides uh, a search engine for people to actually go out there and look at uh, practical things like recipes, like workout routines, and just how to dress. And so I do love the platform. And I think this company is poised to make some really good run in the future. Some news actually uh, came out that I thought, man, what is going on? Don't do it. We're going to talk about it. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, guys, the news actually came out uh, that Microsoft has been trying to acquire Pinterest. They were working behind the scenes trying to acquire Pinterest. And I'm like, this is a very bad idea. So let's, let's look here at uh, Yahoo Finance. Yeah, Microsoft looked at uh, looked to acquire Pinterest. It's like this is it was a bad idea. Like I don't even want to hear it because uh, my personal take: if Microsoft buy Pinterest, this is where Pinterest Pinterest goes to die. This this company is not going to see its full potential. So I don't even want to hear it. I want Pinterest to stand on its own and definitely uh, you know explore and, and get to the potential that I think they can get to. Pinterest is a search engine. Pinterest is a social media platform. Uh, if you look at the competitors like Facebook, Facebook, yes, is good. It's a social media platform. But when people go on, on Facebook, they're going to look for maybe friends, their grandma or whatever to like really uh, just connect with them for a little bit. Then if you go check on your grandma on Facebook and leave and then Facebook starts sending you at about uh, I don't know nursing homes and all that stuff like you, you, you get annoyed But when people go on Pinterest and this is what I, I love about this particular platform people are going there with Searching something in mind. You don't go on Pinterest if you don't have you don't just go there to hang out You go on Pinterest because there's something in your mind So for instance, you are looking for a specific recipe You know that Pinterest is going to serve that recipe to you or they would probably have it So you go on Pinterest to go look for that recipe. You're looking for a particular uh, maybe outfit you want to see how to wear a particular outfit you go to Pinterest and they'll give that to you You go there for a workout routine Pinterest will give that to you so people go there for specific things So the usability of Pinterest to me it, it, it speaks volume so if, if Facebook is trading at two hundred and sixty eight dollars a share and They do pretty much the same thing. That I think Pinterest does and I think Pinterest does even better in terms of what they are doing I think Pinterest has that potential to get all the way to $200 a share, in my personal opinion. That's why I see and I, I don't agree in any shape or form that they should go under any of these top uh, giants. Just be on your own Pinterest because you can totally do it. And so if we look at Pinterest here, this is a five year, but even though Pinterest went public in 2019, this is where they opened, they opened at $19. And if you see this pull back here, this the deepest point here, hey, that was during the pandemic. That's when they pulled back here. But since after the pandemic, look at where, or during, even during the pandemic, until 2021 now look at what pinterest has been able to do it's just been a steady climb and guys and i said talking about pinterest i told you guys when pinterest was at 40 40 45 dollars i said guys get in on this before it takes a move earnings came out back in october it squeezed all the way to 60 bucks i'm like if you are late stay get in we talked about it you see here all through december january pinterest is right there i was like hey get in on pinterest and then their earnings came out again Look at where Pinterest is currently trading, $84 and some change. As of when we're doing this video, we're sitting at $84. And to me, this is just the beginning. As soon as Pinterest crosses that $100 price point, it's, it's gone. Nobody is never going to come back there again unless we have another pandemic. So I am not in favor in any shape or form of our Pinterest going and you know, merging with any other company. If they buy a smaller company to kind of meet certain needs as a company, I'll take that. Just like Facebook got Instagram, they got WhatsApp, all that. If that kind of merger, I want it. But for Pinterest to fold and go under somebody like Microsoft, I am absolutely opposed to that. Microsoft did try to buy TikTok. That felt, that felt through. They never got it. 
And so it looks like they're really trying to get into the social media platform because they've tried building their own social media platform. It never worked, so they're trying to acquire something. So, But I don't think that Pinterest will be a good fit for them, and I don't think they are a good fit for Pinterest. Pinterest, stay on your own and continue the growth. You guys are doing an amazing job. You don't need uh, somebody to come and hold your hand to take you across the finish line. No, you guys can totally do it. So that is my personal opinion here, guys. I don't think that it was a brilliant idea. I'm happy that the, the people over at Pinterest actually rejected that offer. That Pinterest turned it down. I was like, this is good. I love that they're not eagerly trying to like sell out to uh, you know to Microsoft or any of these big giant companies. So guys, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this? Do you even agree that a company like Pinterest should fold and go under any of these big giants? Because don't, don't if Microsoft is chasing them, I wouldn't be surprised if Facebook or, or Google is chasing them. They're just trying to get bigger and bigger and control everything. Uh, I want these companies to be independent. I want Pinterest to stay independent again. I'm probably speaking from a position of a biased person because I own Pinterest and I hold it long term and I don't want them to fold under Microsoft. Microsoft is going to slow their growth. It's going to slow their you know, their creativity in my personal opinion. So I don't, I don't like that. So again, let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. And also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has a great platform where you can get started and do some paper trading. I'll put the links in the description below. When you sign up, you deposit $100, you get four free stocks. Again, links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated.